Okay, hey guys. I was gonna try to get up earlier, it didn't work. I didn't get to sleep until around 3 in the morning, so... Had to work until 11 o'clock. Didn't get out of there until almost midnight, so... Yeah. So it was kind of a late night. But wanted to do, I wanted to do the devotional video on the verse of the day, at least. And then I'm going to get into some more homesteading videos, so... This. Got cold down here again. Sucks, but... I don't know. It is only February 12th, so... Alright, the verse for the day is Romans 12.10. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Guided scripture. Hey friends, welcome to today's guided scripture here on the YouVersion app. Today's scripture is Romans 12.10, which is one of my favorites. The New Living Translation of it says, Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Man, isn't that great? That's such a great verse. We are David and Ashley Willis, host of the Naked Marriage Podcast and part of the team at Exo Marriage. And we're so excited to be with you during this love week because this verse... My goodness, does it not apply to every romantic relationship and even family relationships? Yeah, friendships. Yeah, friendships. I mean, yeah. every relationship will benefit if we take delight in honoring each other and love each other with genuine affection. But what does that mean practically? Exactly. So genuine affection, you know, what does that mean? Well, that means that when we are showing affection, like as a spouse, when we're showing affection to our spouse, that we're not trying to manipulate them with that affection. We're being genuine with it. We are serving them with it. We are doing it just out of the delight of the love that we have for them. And so we're not trying to gain something through that affection. That's what makes it genuine. And Jesus really set the standard of what this looks like. Because the world's way of love says, well, treat people the way they treat you. If they're bad to you, be bad to them. If they're good to you, be good to them. Or if you think you can get something from them, be kind. But God's way is totally different. He says, be good to people even when they can't repay you. Love them even when they're unlovable because that's the way God has loved us. So really what this verse is doing is reminding us, don't treat people the way people treat you. Treat people the way God treats you. And if we'll love people the way Jesus has loved us, it's going to bless us. It's going to bless others. And every single one of our relationships will benefit as a result. It will. And that means we also need to honor one another. But this word honor is thrown around a lot. And we don't even know what that means. But it really is just showing kindness. It's showing love. It's showing respect. That's right. So honor the people in your lives. It could start with just simply listening to them. I think giving someone your focused attention, putting your phone down and listening is one of the purest forms of honor Same in our very rushed culture. Chair. And if we'll just do that more often, I'm telling you. Your relationships are going to improve as a result. How can you show love to someone today? I can put someone else's needs in front of my own. I can let go of bitterness and anger towards someone. I can honor someone above myself. I'm going to choose I can let go of bitterness and or anger towards someone. So I don't believe, I know it's not just me that has that problem sometimes. Devotion and honor. You were created for community. What, when God designed humans, he made us with the intention of placing us within a loving family. Today we call that family the church. God's original intention was that we would exist within a family of other believers. He didn't intend for us to exist in isolation or separated from other people. Life was not meant to be lived alone. Regardless of what your family experience was like, God intended for his family to be loving and caring. And it's the qualities of God's family that Paul is writing about in Romans 12. Paul says to be devoted to one another in love. That means that we are to walk alongside other people through the various seasons of life. We should never abandon people when life gets hard. Paul also encourages us to honor others. Instead of seeking self-recognition, we should honor and encourage each other. Instead of pursuing what seems best for us, we should seek the good of other people first. Devotion and honor are just two aspects of loving people well. But Jesus said that the world will recognize us as his disciples by the way that we love. This means that we have to genuinely love others, not just pretend to love them. 
And the place we need to start showing genuine honor is within our spiritual family. And a lot of the times within our own home. Rather than letting self-promotion divide the family of God, our goal should be to honor those around us. If we won't learn how to love people who follow Jesus, then we won't know how to love people who don't. That's why we should frequently pause and take an assessment on how we are doing at loving others. So take a moment right now to think about the ways in which you loved and honored people this past week. Write down two or three things you can do to continue to show love to those in your life. Jesus, thank you for showing me what unconditional love looks like. It's because you love me deeply and that you ask me to love others deeply. Please help me with this. Show me how to love others like you have loved me. Bring to my mind ways that I can honor others and help me. Then help me to do so with gladness and joy. Why are you asking me? Found a bag of pills in his backpack, that's drug, amphetamines. Used to try Love each other with genuine affection Luke and take delight in honoring each other. Possibly could have taken his friend's death harder than you think. Maybe he was having trouble dealing with big one. Alright. <clears throat> Slowly <throat> inhale. As you exhale, let go of any tension or stress. Repeat as needed and invite God into this moment. He was uh, some drug addict, and how do you even know about it? Father God, I invite you in to bring now in Jesus' name. Speak to my heart. Kids use this stuff for all kinds of reasons. To God, when I look at the world around me, I'm amazed at what you've created. Help me to never lose the wonder of what you are able to accomplish and what you have given us and everything that you've done for us. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. John 15, 7. Take a deep breath and let that verse sink in. What does that scripture make you think of? Meditate on this passage before bringing your request to God. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. Prayer of Gratitude. God, today we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and awe. We reflect on the powerful and matchless name of Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus the ultimate sacrifice to save us from our sins. May his selfless act inspire us to live lives of gratitude and purpose. In Jesus' name. A prayer of celebrating Jesus' arrival. God, we thank you today for the gift of Jesus Christ. We want we want we thank you for the royal announcement of the shepherds that you remain true to your promises to send the Savior to redeem us. Thank you for the gift of new life that came through Jesus. Just like the shepherds announced Jesus' arrival, help me to tell others about the good news of Jesus Christ. A grateful pra prayer for the life of Jesus. God, thank you for teaching us how to live lives that honor you and also showing us how to challenge the world around us confidently. Thank you for being my wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. You are my everything, Lord. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. 2 Timothy 3.16 What words, phrases, or images stood out to you to, in today's prayer time? Are there any next steps you need to take? Spend some time talking to God about what you're processing and create space for him to respond to you. Is there anything you still need to process? Feel free to revisit... this prayer time whenever you need and consider asking God to make himself known to you as you go about your day in Jesus. <clears throat> Sorry. 
10 hours, so... And that was the verse for the day. So. The devotional for the verse for the day. Sorry about that. I'm tired, you guys. Like, really tired. I'm going to go ahead and get this up there, and then I'm going to start working on homesteading videos, and I will see you guys in a minute. Bye, guys. Say it.